Hello again, welcome to my channel. This is your Ate Pachi. Today I gonna bring you Bible stories where Jesus heals the sick with the hope to give encouragement to those who are afflicted with various diseases that there is healing in the name of Jesus, that with faith they can be healed because nothing is impossible with God. It says in Luke 18 verse 27 where Jesus replied, what is impossible with man is possible with God. Jesus raised a dead girl and heals a sick man in Luke 8, 41 to verse 55. Now when Jesus returned, a crowd welcomed him, for they were expecting him. Then a man named Jairus, a synagogue leader, came and fell at Jesus' feet, pleading with him to come to his house, because his, on, his only daughter, a girl of about twelve, was dying. As Jesus was on his way, the crowds almost crushed him. And a woman was there who had been bleeding for, all, for twelve years, but no one could heal, heal her. She came up behind him and touched the edge of his cloak, and immediately her bleeding stopped. Who touched me? Jesus asked. When they all denied it, Peter said, Master, the people are all crowding and pressing against you. But Jesus replied, Someone touch me, and I know that power has gone out from me. Then the woman, seeing that she could not go unnoticed, came trembling and fell at his feet. In the presence of all the people, she told why she had touched him and how she had been instantly healed. Then Jesus said to him, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace. While Jesus was still speaking, someone came from the house of Jairus, the synagogue leader. Your daughter is dead, he said. Do not bother the teacher anymore. Hearing this, Jesus said to Jairus, Don't be afraid, just believe and she will be healed. When he arrived at the house of Jairus, he did not let anyone go in with him except Peter, John and James, and the, and the child's father and mother. Meanwhile, all the people were wailing and mourning for her. Stop wailing, he said. The girl is not dead, but asleep. They laughed at him, knowing that she was dead. But he took her by the hand and said, My child, get up. Her spirit returned, and at once she stood up. Then Jesus told them to give her something to eat. Her parents were asked to kneel. But Jesus ordered them not to tell anyone what happened. Two blind men received sight. Matthew 20 verse 30 to 34. Two blind men were sitting by the roadside, and when they heard that Jesus was going by, they shouted, Lord, Son of David, have mercy on us. The crowd rebuked them and told them to be quiet, but they shouted all the louder. Lord, Son of David, have mercy on us. Jesus stopped and called them. What do you want me to do for you? He asked. Lord, they replied, we want our sight. Jesus had compassion on them and touched their eyes. Immediately, they received their sight and followed him. Jesus heals the blind in Matthew 9 verses 27 to 30. As Jesus went on from the, there, there, two blind men followed him, calling out, Have mercy on us, son of David. When he had gone indoors, the blind men came to him, and he asked them, Do you believe that I am able to do this? Yes, Lord, they replied. Then he touched their eyes and said, According to your faith, let it be done to you. And their sight was restored. You see, in all these stories of healing, they were all healed because of their faith. 
because they believe in Jesus. And if you are sick and want to get well, I believe if you have faith and believe in Jesus Christ, you will be healed. Pray and never doubt in your heart. Claim and declare that you are healed in the name of Jesus. And surely you will be healed. Because it says in 2 Kings 20 verse 5, This is what the Lord, the God of your Father says, I have heard your prayer and seen your tears. I will heal you. There is healing in the name of Jesus. And nothing is impossible with God. If you have faith and never doubt. Hope you like this video. And if you can please share and subscribe. See you in my next video. Shalom.